Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm a vegan living in London. Um, I'm originally from the US and Japan. And today I have kind of a feast, I guess. I don't know, like, it wasn't, it's not really meant to be like a mukbang, but um, it ended up being kind of a lot of food. But anyway, so today I wanted to try as many meal deals as I could. Um, I've been hearing a lot about meal deals since I moved here back in December. Um, it's kind of a thing at the grocery stores here, like if you go to a Tesco or Sainsbury or any of the major grocery store chains, you can usually find a meal deal, which usually includes like some sort of main dish plus a drink or dessert or a side um, for a very affordable price. So today I hit up three different places. I went to M&S, Marks and & Spencer, and Boots, which is like a drugstore, but they have food there and they do a meal deal. Um, and I also went to Tesco. So three different places, um, just to kind of compare and see how they all match up, see which one's actually worth it, um, and I'll compare prices as well. Um, I guess we should start with this big plate. This is the Marks and Spencer meal deal. So the Marks and Spencer meal deal is actually meant for two people, not one person. So it's quite expensive, it's eight pounds which is way more than the average meal deal, but seeing as it's meant for two people, it's actually four pounds each, which isn't that bad, actually. Um, and it comes with a main, a side, and a dessert. So this salad right here is the green vegetable medley, which comes with peas, leeks, and broccoli, and a creamy vegan dressing. These, like, fried things, this is the plant kitchen. Melt in the middle, no fish cakes. So, yeah, these are supposed to be fish cakes and it's made with, hmm, what is the protein made with? It has a bunch of like coconut extracts, wheat flour, potatoes. So I guess there's not that much protein in this. There's three grams per cake, so it's actually not a lot of protein at all. Um, and then for dessert, I got the Strawberry cheesecake wedges. A Madagascan vanilla vegan cheesecake with a fruity strawberry topping on a crunchy oat biscuit base. I've been really, really excited to try these, so I'm very excited that I'm finally trying it. The cakes just came right out of the oven, so I think I should try them while they're hot. Oh well, it's like exploding. Mmm, it smells fishy for sure. I feel like I should have like a sauce with it. The middle looks very potato-y. Not very fishy, but let's see how it is. Mmm. That's impressive, actually. It tastes way more fishy than I was expecting. Whoa. That, that could actually fool you for like actual fish cake. Okay, time to try the salad. Not bad. I can't tell if I like the dressing, but the dressing, I feel like it's supposed to be kind of like a Caesar or ranch or something, but it doesn't have much flavor. It's just creamy. It doesn't, it's not much else to it. But the fish cake, I am enjoying. This is really good. Okay. Time to try the cheesecake. And this is mostly made with coconut oil. Yeah, there's no nuts in this. Oh, what beauties. Mmm. Oh my god. It's super sweet. It's almost too sweet for me, but... I really like the base. The middle, the cheese part, I like my cheesecake a bit tangier, but the oat is really good, the texture is really good, it's just a bit too sweet for me, and I wish it was a little bit tangier, but overall not bad. I think Marks & Spencer, for eight pounds, really not a bad deal at all, considering the quality of the food. Um, but yeah, I would give it maybe overall like seven and a half out of ten. Quite good. And by the way, in terms of savings, 
with Marks and Spencer, you save two pounds sixty. So it would have been ten pounds sixty, but with the meal deal, it's eight pounds. Next, let's move on to maybe Tesco. Tesco's meal deal comes with a main, a side, and a drink, and I chose to go with Coke with twisted strawberry. So I've never heard of twisted strawberry flavored Diet Coke. So I was really curious. For the sandwich, I found this Plant Chef No Egg and Cress. 100% um, plant-based egg sandwich, so I'm very curious. And then for the side, I got this Indian style selection. It doesn't actually say what it is, but I think it's some sort of like pakora. I oh, know it says vegetable samosa, but it really doesn't look like a samosa. I have very, very low expectation for this, but uh, maybe we'll just start with this. Oh, it has three different things. So it has a samosa plus two pakoras, I guess. Is that what it says? Oh, it's onion bhaji. Okay, I don't know what bhaji is, but... All right, let's try the onion bhaji first. I feel like this should be warmed up. It's really dry. I don't know. It's not good. It's really, really dry and has no flavor. Okay, let's try this samosa. It looks very sad. It's like deformed. I mean, this is a very... I don't know if I would call this a samosa. It's not crispy. Yeah, it's just not fresh, but I guess you can't expect a fresh samosa from Tesco, but... Yeah, I would pass on this. I'm gonna try the this Coke. I'm very curious. Is this a thing in other countries? I've never heard of this before. Oh my god, it smells so sweet. It tastes very artificial. I don't know. I'm a fan of Cherry Coke. Well, I was when I was a kid, so this is kind of like Cherry Coke, but... It tastes like artificial strawberry cake, if you know what I mean. Like it's, I don't know, it's not my fave. All right, we're, we're not doing so well the Tesco round. Let's try the main dish, the no egg and crust. So this is mostly made with soybean, I guess it's tofu, yeah, tofu. Per pack, there's 17.7 17 grams of protein. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna eat it on this tray so I don't make such a mess. It's not bad. It actually tastes quite eggy. But the veggie pret egg sandwich is probably five times better than this. This is okay. The texture is just not great. But the flavor is good. I don't know if I would get this again. It's all mushy. And I feel like they put a lot of mayo in it. I don't know, what's in this? Is it mayo? Yeah, I think they put like... It just tastes kind of like oily. Tesco. Overall, my Tesco meal deal experience Maybe like a 4 out of 10, not, not, not the best, but there's other selections, like maybe I just chose the wrong thing. There's other vegan options that you can get at, at the, as the meal deal. Um, yeah, I would not get the Indian style selection again. I'd probably choose a different sandwich. But that being said, Tesco has by far the best deal out of the three. Um, it's three pounds, so you actually save two pounds. Because without the meal deal, everything would have been five pounds. So it's actually a pretty good deal um, for a full meal. And the lastly, we have the boots. This is the vegan no chicken salad. So for boots, you could get a same as Tesco, pretty much. A main, a side. I chose to get the coconut collaborative mango and passion fruit. Kind of like 
I don't know, pudding thing? And a drink. So for the drink I got this Ribena sparkling black currant flavor drink. Um, I don't know, like I feel like Ribena is a very popular brand in the UK. I had never heard of it before moving here, but I've seen people drink it and I've been kind of wondering what it is or what all the hype is around Ribena, so that's why I decided to try today. Quick warning for this, I forgot to put this in the fridge after I got home, and so I don't know if it's still okay to eat, because I'm actually recording this um, a day after I bought everything, so I'm hoping it's still okay to eat. But anyway, we shall see. So first up, let's have the sandwich. This is the no chicken salad and it comes with wheat gluten and soy protein. Yeah, so it seems like it's seitan and soy protein. And it has 18 grams of protein per pack. Not bad. This actually looks like a decent sandwich, I gotta be honest. The good thing, it has a lot better texture than the Tesco sandwich. It has crunch from the cucumber and the lettuce. But it's just so bland. <laughs> like, there's no flavor. Let me try the chicken on its own. The chicken isn't bad in terms of the flavor and the texture, but I don't know, there's just like nothing in this that's like giving it any flavor. This one definitely needs hot sauce. Let's try the drink. It tastes like grape soda. It tastes very sweet. I don't know. I feel like I also got the wrong flavor, or like the wrong product. I don't know, I don't really like it. It's too artificial and sweet and... I don't know, I think maybe I'm just used to like drinking sparkling water without any sweetener and that's why I'm like, whoa. But... yeah. I don't know if I would get that again. Let's try this, um, dessert. <laughs> I'm slightly worried that it's not good anymore. I love Coconut Collaborative, I love all of their products, so I think this will be good, unless I ruined it, but yeah, it's mostly made with coconut milk. Is this supposed to be a yogurt? I'm not sure if it's supposed to be yogurt or a dessert. I think it's okay. It's very thick. I don't know if you can tell. It's like super, super thick. Mmm. It's quite good. It's quite heavy. I feel like you need to like coconut to eat this. It almost tastes like whipped cream, but like not sweet. A sweet? I don't know, it's like co it's literally like coconut cream, but like with passion fruit. I don't know. It's very, very heavy. This would be a great topping for like a crepe or pancake or in cereal or something, but on its own, it's a little bit too heavy for me, I think. But the good news is if you leave it out for a day, you don't refrigerate it, it's still okay. At least for now. I don't know, maybe I'll get like diarrhea later. <laughs> But for now, it's okay. Um, and for the Boots meal deal, it comes out to $3.99 and you save almost two pounds. It's about a pound more than uh, Tesco. The quality is slightly better, I think. I would give this meal maybe a five or six out of ten. Marks and Spencer, of course, wins, but it's kind of unfair because it is also like more expensive. Um, and obviously like better quality. So I guess if you have like a friend to eat your meal deal with then Definitely I would opt for Marks and Spencer. It also takes a bit more prep Like you can't eat the Marks and Spencer one on the go Whereas the Boots and Tesco one you can because for the Marks and Spencer one I you have to um, heat it up in the oven So that's another caveat for Marks and Spencer, but if you have the time and you have the money <laughs> Max and Spencer. If you don't, 
I would go for Boots. And I don't know, maybe there's other meal deals that I'm missing out on. Let me know if I got the wrong things, if you have any recommendations, what other meal deals are worth getting. I would love to hear. But yeah, that's all I have for today for you guys. So please subscribe if you like this video, if you want to see more videos from me. Your subscriptions keep me motivated. So um, if you subscribe, I'll feel more motivated to keep making videos. So give it a like, comment down below as well if you want. That's all. I'll see you next week. Bye.